What's going on YouTube? My Lark's here and we're back today for another video on YouTube, of course. So today is the Foth Nations player where they bring out every Tuesday at the minute, EA, which is very good. Normally it's about three cards in one SBC. So today I've picked out Jens Striger Larsen. He's only an 83 rated squad to complete, so he's very cheap. You're looking probably about 50 to 60k at the minute as it stands on the market. So if I just quickly go through his stats, He's six foot tall, medium, medium work rates, right footed, three star skill moves, which isn't great, especially if he's a wide player. But we can look to use him elsewhere in other positions. Four star weak foot, which is always good. But yeah, for me personally, the, the skill moves sort of kills it a little bit because obviously you're limited on what you can do. You can only really do like the directional nutmegs, bridge, mini bridge, just skills like that, really, sort of basic skills, obviously, ball roll and things like that. But let's go on to his attribute details. I've put a shadow on him because he's got 79 defending, so I feel like we, we need to, when a card's got such high defending stats for like a winger, I feel like we need to make use of these stats. You know, it's not often you get cards that are all round like this. I know we're at the end of FIFA and there's loads of cards now like it, but I like to make the most of everyone's stats. So he's got 95 pace, except 95 acceleration and sprint speed. I've put a shadow on him anyway. He's got 92 shots, so 99 attacking position, 90 finishing, 99 shot power, 90 long shots, 93 volleys. His penalties ain't too good, but you're probably going to have a better penalty taker than Larson anyway. So 89 passing. This is the reason why I not don't know if I'd want him playing out wide. 87 vision, which is fine. Crossing 94, which is really good. Free kick accuracy, which is 59, which is you're, you're going to have better free kick takers on your team anyway. 93 short pass. 88 long pass, it's the 77 curve that puts me off. Especially in crossing positions, if you use the R1 and square cross, which is on PlayStation, to whip it round at the defense, it's curve's not gonna be that good. Dribbling, 92, 91 balance. I mean, he's six foot, so he's got decent dribbling stats anyway. 93 reactions, 95 ball control, 90 dribbling, 81 composure, so it's not bad. The composure, like I said, again, lets him down. Just if he's in front of goal, playing as a tough opponent, you got one chance falls to Larson. Yeah, that's the only thing I'd probably say. Now, 79 defending is really good. 81 interception, 77 defensive awareness, 84 stand tackle, 81 slide tackle. Obviously, the head and accuracy is only 68, but he's not really going to head the ball too much. And it depends on where you play him as well. Obviously, if you're playing him at wide, it's not going to be great. If you're going to play him, I'm looking to play him in different positions, probably like in a central midfield position, then his head and accuracy is not going to matter too much. Then the physical, 91 jumping, he is 6 foot as well, so you can win quite a lot of headers. 99 stamina, 86 strength, 86 aggression. So where I'd be looking to play him is either as a wing back or as like a central midfield player on a 4-3-1-2. We're going to try him. We'll start him off at right wing, see how he gets on. I don't see me enjoying this card as right wing just because he hasn't got the stats that I'd want for a wide player. But we'll give him a go, see how we get on. And let's just go into a game of rivals. So from Larson so far, he's quite pacey. Obviously, I did put a shadow on him just to boost that, that pace. I'm not going to lie, he doesn't really move too smoothly. His passing's not great, obviously, because he's only got 77 curve, which is a problem. So as you see from the first half, there isn't too many clips I managed to get of Larson. Obviously still got good fitness and everything. I think second half, I'm definitely going to have to try him in a 
Oh, he's won a penalty. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, I should have just put more on it. So, as you see from the footage, obviously, first half, I used Larson as a right winger. I couldn't really get him in the game too much. He's a strong runner, don't get me wrong, as you see from all of the footage there that I've played with him in Rivals. He gets going. You know, he can run the full length of the pitch. He's got great stamina. He can get past people. That's why I thought if I played him in a wing back, it might be better. And he wasn't overlapping and things like that. He was getting down the wing. But when I put him into that 4 3 1 2 position, he was like unreal. He was what a card, you know. I'd compare him to like Mateus. I know some people will think that's a bit much, but just the way that he gets up and down so quickly, I've used moments uh, low for Mateus. And he just reminded me of that, you know. Obviously, he's got good defending as well, 79, not as high as Mateus. He's got 95 pace, as you see, he can run past people. He's got a good shot on him as well, left foot. He's good enough as well with a four-star weak foot. The only thing that lets him down is the skill moves. But I feel like in a 4-3-1-2, playing as a right-sided centre mid or a left-sided centre mid, that this is the best way to get the best out of this card, Larson. You know, it is only an 83-rated squad to do as well, so you can't really grumble too much. Medium-medium work rates. He still makes runs in behind. He still moves around a lot, considering he's a medium-medium work rates card. Um, going on the attribute... Agility wise, it's not as bad as I thought it'd be. 92 agility is really good. It's six foot tall as well. The defending boosted as well, I think really helps. He's always in the right positions. I feel like I said, that's his best position as a right sided centre midfielder or a left sided centre midfielder. Probably the only downfall is his passing. His curve isn't great, so sometimes you need to put a bit of curve on the pass to get around the defender. That is going to let him down a little bit. He's strong as well. Like I said, the 99 stamina is always a huge, huge boost, especially as you see late on in game. He's still running past players, you know. That was Tots Alaba, the, the player that I had. You know, most of the teams are all Tots, and this card was still outperforming Tots cards. So I know his stats are similar to Tots, obviously, because he's a 92 rated card. But all round, yeah, this card is very good. Like I said, it's just the passing, really, and the composure that sort of lets him down because they're not as high as you probably would want it. But it's nothing that you can't work with. And as I say as well, if you can't play foot champs every week or rivals because you haven't got the time, not everyone has got the time to play foot champs. This is a very good card to have in your team. Off the bench, you can bring him on right wing, left wing, on at centre mid, you know, as a wing back. You know, this card can do a job. Maybe even as fullback. Who knows? You know, there's a lot of positions this player can play. He's very well all rounded. Like I say, for an 83 rated squad, you're probably looking at about 50k. That's a great, great card to have. A really good card to have. If I was to give it a rating out of 10, it would be an 8. Just because, for one, you're missing four-star skill moves. So you are limited to what skills you can do, which is a problem, as you can see. It is sometimes hard to beat someone. You can only really sort of play it around people or do the directional nutmegs, bridge, mini bridge, just things like that, really, basic skills. Two, he's Danish, so it's not the easiest to link in, but he is playing in a good league in Serie A, so it's not the hardest league to link in. And there is a lot of good TOTS cards out there from Serie A. So he is not the hardest link in. But definitely a solid eight because of the different positions that he can play in. For me personally, his best position is a right-sided or left-sided left -sided centre mid. Playing in like a 4-3-1-2. Or you could probably play him in a 4-4-2 at centre mid, left mid, right mid. A diamond formation. 4 triple two. There's a lot of formations that he could definitely fit into. But that is all for today's video. Thanks for your comments. Like, subscribe, comment. It's all love. I appreciate the subscribes. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time.